This video will walk you through creating a ConnectWise Manage API member to be used by QuoteWorks. Creating an API member in ConnectWise does not use a ConnectWise license. This member or user is used only for authenticating API calls and does not have access to log into the ConnectWise user interface. This API member is used by QuoteWorks to make REST API calls to ConnectWise. So the first thing we're going to do is go to ConnectWise, and you will need to use the, the FAT client. You won't be able to use the web interface, at least as of 2017.4, or 3 in this case. What we're going to do first is go to the System tab and go to Members. Okay, And what we're going to do is select API Members. And it's actually recommended by ConnectWise to create a separate API member for each integration that you have. So if you're using QuoteWorks, for instance, um, you'll want to make sure that you have a, a member ID for QuoteWorks. If you're using another integration, say by Kaseya or somebody else, you'll need to have a separate member ID for them. So what we're going to do first is we're going to click on the New button here. And we're going to create our member ID. You'll want to make this distinct and make sense. So for you, you may want the member ID to be QuoteWorks, for instance. And then the rest of this really doesn't matter as far as um, the first name or last name. Um, neither does the email. So I'm just going to do support at QuoteWorks.com. Phone number. Again, I'm just going to use our support information, but you could really put in whatever you want here. Now, what does uh, matter, however, is the role ID. The security role applied to the API member is the security role applied to all actions performed by using this member. So basically, if you want QuoteWorks to be able to, um, to access, say, all the users that you have in ConnectWise so you can you know, select who an opportunity is for, you need to make sure that the role ID is selected as admin. And this is very important. Um, also, for moving forward, you'll want to make sure that you select Manage Administrator as well. Depending on the version of ConnectWise you have, this may look a little bit different, but the actions are exactly the same. For the level, we're going to make sure it's corporate so it, it ha handles everybody. And then again, basically, you want to make sure that you give um, this API member as much rights as you possibly can. And there are required fields, um, so you just make sure that all the ones that have the uh, the asterisks by them are set. We're doing that. And obviously you want to give them access to everything. Just make sure that we set everything. Looks like I misplaced the territory here. There we go. And you want to make sure that no restrictions are set on that as well. All right, looks like we created our API user. Um, so now what I'm going to do is go to API keys. Now, so we've created the API member. Now we, gotta, we have to create the key that will actually be used by QuoteWorks. So I'm just going to call this QW API key. And, oops, sorry, we're going to click on new there. And we're going to type in the description of QW API key. You can really put in whatever you want here. And we're going to click on save. Now what's going to be very important here is that the public key and private key are remembered. The private key will never be shown again. So what I recommend doing is go ahead and highlight all this, do a control C, and then you can paste it into Notepad, make it pretty, put it wherever you want, but make sure you save that private key in a very special location because basically anytime QuoteWorks needs that information, you'll either need to create a new API key, which is fine, you can do that, um, or you can refer back to your notes. So now within QuoteWorks, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Contacts and set up Contact Manager now that we've created that. And let's fill in everything here. Okay, so now you'll notice that we have our ConnectWise REST API credentials, and it's asking for the public key and the private key. So what we can do here is take our public key, we're going to do a control C, I'm going to paste that, take our private key, copy that, and paste that. So now what we can do is click on test, 
And as you can see, our credentials were successful. So that's all you need to do as far as creating your, uh, your ConnectWise Manage API member to be used by QuoteWorks um, and be able to access the public and private keys. If you have any questions, you can give us a call at 407-248-1481 uh, at to speak with support, or you can send an email to support at quoteworks.com. Thank you and have a great day.